Okay, so let's continue with moment. Um, before I move on to this idea of the cross product, which we use to calculate the moment, um, the question is why would we want to use, what is the cross product? The cross product is, is a vector product. A vector product. We're multiplying two vectors with each other using the cross product. Okay? And where, let's just intuitively understand where would we want to use the vector product um, if it is possible right if we, we remember we're trying to calculate the moment which means we need the, this force we need this perpendicular distance we're trying to calculate the magnitude of this moment determine its direction everything if okay if it is easy to determine this perpendicular distance, right? Just from the problem, the geometry, it is quite straightforward. Oh, I can easily, like for example, in this this example that we looked at um, in earlier. In this case, this would be easy to determine this distance. Then you can use this the scalar approach, right? The scalar approach. Just have calculate the magnet what is the magnitude of the force calculate this perpendicular distance right and then determine the direction of rotation and the, the direction of the thumb right that's straightforward then you can use this method but if it's very difficult to determine this perpendicular distance right it, it, the geometry just doesn't allow you it's it's you just can't quite figure out what d is then we use the dun 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 the cross product. Okay, all that all we're saying is the cross product is in the scale in the scalar version we have m equals f d and remember that d must be the perpendicular distance. With a vector, um, we have r cross f. Okay, r cross f. What is r? R is your position vector it's a position vector and this position vector I wish I'd rather had the diagram over here the position vector is any vector I'm just gonna keep writing this any vector from the point of rotation from this point of rotation to any point along the line of action of this force okay I, I hope that's sunk in it is any position vector from that point to any point along the line of action of the force. Okay? So, let's just go back and we'll explain why this R cross F, oh, I've just written it there, why can this position vector be any position vector from that point to any point, right? It could be that position vector. 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 All of these are valid position vectors and will give us the, the same moment, M. It will give us the same moment, M. Why is that? Because the magnitude, because what this is effectively saying the magnitude of this is equal to F R sine alpha. F R sine alpha. Okay, so okay, so Bevan, I'm still confused. I still don't understand that. Okay, so just remember this F R sine alpha. Any position vector that you get will is the that that R this r in the in the cross product the magnitude is r sine alpha meaning we take the magnitude of r whatever it is and we compute let's remove this to show you the what's actually happening we compute the sine of that angle there right that's alpha that's alpha so the sine whatever r is the sine of alpha will always give you that perpendicular distance. I hope that makes sense. Whatever that position vector is, what we're actually doing in the cross product is we're saying R sine alpha 
multiplied by the magnitude of f, which again effectively is just f d perpendicular. Well, I don't recall the textbook explaining exactly what a position vector is, but if you haven't heard of it, a position vector is simply a vector describing... There's two ways of describing it. The one is, how do I walk from point A to that point there? And it's in meters, right? Your position vector is in meters. It's a position. How do I walk? How, how much in the X, Y, Z from that position to that position? Or, what is that position in relation to that position? So an example of a position vector, just making one up, would be, say, 2i plus 2j meters. Okay? So this position vector then means I walk 2 meters in the x and 2 meters in the, in the y direction. Or it could be minus i plus k, right? Could be that. Meaning, I don't have a y component, but I'm moving minus 1 in the, in the x direction, and then I'm moving 1 in the, in the z direction, right? So that's what a position vector is. Simply a, how do I move from a to b, or a to that, to any point along the line of action? And it can be any point because of this sine alpha, okay? So this is the magnitude of the position vector, uh, sorry, of the moment, fr sine alpha. As you can see, because it's, this is now just the magnitudes or the scalar values, it could also be r f sine alpha, right? Sine alpha, it doesn't, sine alpha doesn't care whether it's being multiplied with f or r, okay? So f r sine alpha, which is then f times your perpendicular distance. I hope that's clear. Now, we must maintain the sequence r cross f. Do not do f cross r. It must be r cross f when you're doing the multiplication. There will be examples where we'll see exactly how we would do this. So, say now... Um, no, I'm not going to show you. We'll do an example. But you, you don't... r cross f is not equal to f cross r. Not... The magnitudes are equal. Yes, the magnitudes are equal. But the direction is what? What's the direction? That direction is opposite that direction. So you'll have the correct magnitude, but you'll have the opposite direction. And so it is not a vector. I mean, sorry, it is not uh, equivalent. They're not equivalent vectors. And then the last point here is... Um, this idea of perpendicular. So if you've got... There's your R, and there's your F. The direction of M, okay, is always perpendicular to the plane of these two, right? These two vectors form a plane, like a sheet, like a table. And the, the direction of this moment will always be perpendicular. And again, it uses the right-hand rule. So, just going to remind you, I said it in the previous one. Put your fingers in the direction of R and then curl them towards F. Right? Put them, use your right hand, not your left hand. Your right hand in the direction of R and curl it. And you'll see it curls like that, right? And so in this case, you would have a counterclockwise moment. Um, if you had, say, here's an object and there's a force, F, and there's your point of rotation, then you would find any position vector, okay? And you would say R cross F, so you'd put your fingers in the direction of R, your right hand fi fingers, and then curl them towards F, and then you would see in this case again, count, uh, counterclockwise. Okay? All right.